bonita vecindad, qué bonita vecindad, es la vecindad del chavo, eso, 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 eso. no va a traer medio centavo, pero es linda de verdad. Mi nombre es el chavo, toda mi ropa es un auténtico remiendo, a veces no me lavo. Ya con maldades, pero sin querer queriendo. ¡Qué bonita vecindad! ¡Qué bonita vecindad! ¡Es la vecindad del chavo! ¡No va a mi Dios el cabo! ¡Pero es linda de verdad! El picachón es Kiko. ¡Qué cachetón y feo es el pobre chico! Pero la más latina, sin duda alguna, es la tremenda chilindrina. ¡Qué bonita vecindad! ¡Qué bonita vecindad! ¡Es la vecindad del chavo! ¡No valdrá que Dios el cabo! Profesor visita la vecindad como buscando que haya boda Y Ron Ramón no evita los golpes que Doña Florinda le acomoda ¡Qué bonita vecindad! ¡Qué bonita vecindad! ¡Es la vecindad del chavo! Stay tuned to TLC, the learning channel. Let's learn. Coming up next, Little People Tricky Fridge. Followed by 12 Wives, 12 Problems. Followed by Small Dogs, Big Dumps. <laughs> yeah, reality shows sure have changed so over the years. Oh, I miss, I miss Small these. Dogs, Big Dumps. I mean, you could get away with doing almost anything on TV about a decade ago. Yeah. And now, every producer in Hollywood is looking at each other pitching ideas like... Uh, wait, we've done that already. I know. I bet they don't even remember. <laughs> like, twice. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. In fact, I just finished the sequel to Farm Animal Mega Yacht. Oh. And <laughs> you will not believe who swims away with the goat in the oh. end. Oh, it's the horse. <laughs> no spoilers here, but dating shows right now aren't much different. It all started with The Bachelor, mm -hmm. and then a lot of different variations of that happened. Mm -hmm. And now we have the latest one called Five Guys a Week. I like the sounds of this. Okay. Oh, Alexis is in. Brooke, sound good to you? I mean, it sounds like my 20s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it airs on the Lifetime channel, okay. and the premise is pretty simple. One lucky lady finds herself in a house with five random dudes that she's never met before. Wait, how is she lucky? I, she's living with these dudes? I think I've seen this on, like, a uh, non-appropriate website how, before. How quickly <laughs> does she get made the mother of the house and ends oh, up yeah, cleaning up after crazy. all of them? It's a good question, but each day, starting on Monday, she has to get rid of one until oh. she gets to Friday when she finally picks her winner. Oh, and she can finally live by herself? Oh. <laughs> I just picture Alexis on this show. She'd get bored of all five men in the first hour like <laughs> can we just do five guys in five minutes yeah. yeah and while other reality dating shows you've probably seen end up with a bunch of guys and girls like drinking and canoodling in yeah. some hot tub in yeah. this exotic location the house that they live in is not big and fancy oh what in fact it looks more like a small new york apartment why is, oh, they really want to annoy you why is lifetime doing women wrong by this mm -hmm. like this sounds terrible well this Twelve is what quarters. real love is yeah, Who it's wants true. to watch real love, Jeffrey? Give me a helicopter <laughs> ride. Im imagine all of them living together in close quarters, all sharing one tiny bathroom oh, God. and oh, having no. to split up all the housework. So it's basically oh, she's living gosh. in a frat house is what it sounds like to yeah. me. Yeah, could you imagine how much beard clippings no. are in that no. sink? No. And no. Alexis, you'll have to clean it all up because no. you know the guys won't. Uh, yeah. no, I mean, won't. she is never going to sit down on a toilet seat that's already yeah. been put down that for is, her. That is up constantly. And you know what else happens on the show? <gasps> It's a mystery guest. Oh, who's it gonna be? Who could it be? Oh, look, it's her parents, and they're here to judge oh. you. <laughs> Wait, I don't 
want in the show anymore. <laughs> That's part of the show. <laughs> your your mom, parents Barb, show up? Barb shows up and Did, takes your man. Yeah. They lean they on just... their family and their friends to come in and give them advice. But in the end, the we're, decision is up to the woman. People, Who wins her heart? Were people tricked into doing this? Yeah. <laughs> and it's weird. The one thing that they never seem to mention on this reality dating show is any actual dates. They all just spend time together in the apartment. Oh, oh good. Oh, man. So you rush, be a lot of fights. you rush into the five year mark of your relationship and you never <laughs> go out anymore. It's just Alexis's personal hell sitting in a cramped room oh. with five guys all staring at her, yeah. waiting for her to say something. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, actually. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm glad you can't smell I'll be anything. Like, Let's talk about sports. Really? You would oh. say that? So they start talking and I don't have oh. to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Smart. And I guess if you wanted to get some one on one time with the girl, you can sit together on the couch and ask the other four dudes to go wait in the bathroom. Oh. That's the only way you'll get privacy. And the one episode that everybody's been talking about online lately is this 35-year-old woman named Sonali. Okay. So here's a picture of her. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. I mean, gosh, she's so pretty. Everybody's mm. talking about this. I'll play you the audio clip so that you can hear why. My name is Sonali. I'm 35, and I'm a fitness coordinator. I was born and raised right here in New Jersey to immigrant parents from India. That meant a very strict household. My father was particularly strict with me, not letting me attend sleepovers or go to prom. Dating was absolutely forbidden. I didn't do anything to bring him disappointment. I was a good girl, so I didn't have my first kiss until I was 26. I am 35 and still a virgin, and I am very proud to be a prude. <laughs> oh, oh, man. She just became so unattractive. What? Are you, what? what are you talking about? I mean, yeah. oh, come on. Why is she living with five dudes if that's her thing? What are you like, talking yeah. about? That's Let the that perfect place for a 35-year-old virgin, <laughs> a cramped house with five thirsty guys. I mean, oh, honestly, I it'll guess. make you never want to do anything ever. Yeah. <laughs> living with five dudes, you'd be like, oh, this is what I've been missing out on? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> but you'd think there'd be decent odds that she'd meet at least one gentleman in this entire group. And Hopefully. she does actually hit it off in the episode with a guy named Eric. Okay. But Good. The most awkward part, and I'll let you watch it for yourself if you want to see it, but basically there's a moment where Sonali and Eric are making out. Okay. And Eric Ooh, suddenly kiss. He suddenly stops kissing her and turns away. Why? What? And she what? goes, What what's wrong? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. terrible. And Eric has to explain to her how men's bodies work in these romantic situations. Oh. Oh. He got too excited. She's like, uh -huh. what? Yeah, we know, Jose. We don't <laughs> yeah. need a man's I looked over, of... your face was confused. But Sonali is so like, what? what? What do you mean? That happens no. from kissing? Oh. She's 35. Oh. She's uh, never she... gotten that far with people before. But they have oh to gosh. know. You have friends. You have the internet. You have uh, sex education in schools, for goodness sakes. Not in her school. <laughs> So there was a few culture shock moments for yeah. Sonali during this episode. She explain? probably should have known that before living with five men, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's really awkward. If you want to see Whoa. it, check your local listings for five guys a week. See, this uh. is why people tune in. It's for the cringe. Yeah, I, anyone that does, make sure you click on the correct link when you Google oh. five guys a week because there's a couple <laughs> yeah. different ones. That's what I was saying. And those people, definitely not virgins yeah. on a date. Well, the show is over, but you can relive it all right now. At brookandjeffrey.com. Woo!